Hello and welcome to another episode of AWSP's News You Can Use. We'd like to thank the president of Kaiser Permanente, Susan Mullaney, who joined AWSP CEO Network a few weeks back to talk about the parallels between high school executive leadership and running a school as a principal. She's a big believer in the work you do as school leaders. And whether corporate or school leadership, she said it's all about the leader of an organization creating a culture of ownership with everyone. How are you creating the culture in your school? You know who has some great ideas about creating culture in schools? Jason Smith, the principal at John R. Rogers High School in Puyallup, Washington. Jason was one of the first principals to do a Fast Five video for us, and if you haven't seen it, check it out for some great tips about building culture. Jason was nationally recognized Monday morning as Justin's Renaissance Educator of the Year for his leadership. Only two educators from more than 6,000 schools across the country were selected for the award. As impressive as that is, Jason can also add another feather to his cap. He's one of our state principals of the year. Jason joins our middle-level principal of the year, Guy Kovacs, principal at Cali's Junior High, also from Puyallup School District, and Alfonso Lopez, our elementary principal of the year from Lewis and Clark Elementary in the Wenatchee School District. Let's also congratulate Shelly Ramirez, our elementary assistant principal of the year from Thompson Elementary in the Bethel School District, and Lacey Griffiths, our secondary assistant principal of the year from R.A. Long High School in the Longview School District. Congratulations to all of them, and we look forward to sharing more of their stories with you in the future. There was new money for education beyond just K-12 this year. Beginning in the 2021 academic year, the Washington College grant will be guaranteed for eligible state residents at or below medium family income, MFI, which is currently $91,766 for a family of four. For more information, check out the Washington Student Achievement Council's website. Registration is now open for AWSP's Launching Principal Leadership Network and Building Effective Leadership Network. Launching Principal Leadership is for new or newly assigned administrators, while Building Effective Leadership is for administrators in year two and beyond. The first 50 members to register for the series will qualify for a scholarship that makes the entire series only $400. Check out the registration links in Principal Matters or visit our website for more information. Speaking of LPL, earlier this year we met Rachel Simmons, Assistant Principal in the Battleground School District. On occasion, we'll help members with surveys and data collection if the request meets certain criteria. Rochelle is the dissertation phase of her PhD program and is looking for some participants. She wants to learn about the methods that principals who self-identify as transformational leaders and or instructional leaders use to promote high school student achievement. If either of those sound like you, check out the link in Principal Matters and see if you're eligible for the study. On a similar note, Kate Choate from the University of Washington is collecting data around the health of Washington's STEM educator pipeline. On April 1st, she sent a survey out to Washington STEM teachers and is asking for your help in encouraging your STEM educators to respond. Their participation will help inform decisions that will impact the future of STEM Ready Washington. Please encourage your teachers to participate. The winter spring issue of our Washington Principal Magazine is out. We know, we know, we're late and it's not winter anymore, but we think you'll find this issue worth the wait. On the cover is our friend Charlotte Stingley Ellis, who wrote an amazing article about surviving a brain tumor and what she learned about leadership from her rescue dog, Georgie. Check out the link in Principal Matters or look for it shortly in your mailbox. Are you changing positions or retiring this year? Be sure to go to our website and fill out the change of status form. This helps us make sure your membership benefits don't lapse, including all of the important legal liability coverage, which you'll still need for a while, even if you move to the central office. Questions? Be sure to contact Anna Lee. A special thanks to two business partners who have supported us for as long as we can remember, Viva and Pemco. Partners like Viva and Pemco help us fund important projects and support our day-to-day -day communications ventures, like this newscast, for example. For all of us here at AWSP, I'm Ron Sisson. You stay classy, Washington. What should I do with my hands? Should I like... <laughs> Pray? <laughs>